Are you tired of ketchup? Is mustard just boring to you anymore? Well, it's time for a brand new condiment. I feel like I should be doing an infomercial. In Latin America, there is a great condiment called chimichurri. In Italy, there is one called gremolata. Gremolata classically paired with the veal asambuco. The two of them are pretty similar. They're herbs and garlic mashed up with an acid, and the chimichurri has olive oil, where typically speaking, a gremolata doesn't but they're very similar. So I'm gonna steal a little bit from both parts of the world, and if you decide to call it a chimichurri, that's fine by me. If you decide to call it a gremolata, that's fine by me. Ours will have olive oil in it, and we'll also have something I would highly encourage you to do. Start growing some herbs, because we're gonna use a lot of them, and in particular in this dish, I'm gonna use some lemon thyme, which is just gonna give us that oh-so-something added lemony kick to it, and we're just gonna roughly prep up our ingredients, and then we'll talk about a special piece of equipment. After we chopped our flat leaf parsley, our cilantro, our lime got cut in half, our lemon thyme went into that mix, and copious amounts of garlic, how much? Well, it really depends on how many people you're gonna be seeing later that night. It's time for that special piece of equipment I talked about. All too often, I see people reach for the food processor immediately. Do I have one? Absolutely, love it, use it all the time. But when it comes to things like pestos and gremoladas and chimichurris, these sort of delicate, rustic, type condiments, I think they all come out the same in the food processor. A little too soupy, a little bit too wet for me, not enough texture, and sometimes you need to go old school. And for us, this is old school. The mortar and pestle. That's right, I'm bringing it back in the day. The mortar and pestle, we're gonna put all of our stuff in there. The first thing that's gonna go is gonna be the garlic with a little bit of a coarse salt. Kosher salt is fine. And it's all gonna get ground up in there. Garlic salt first, then our herbs, then our lime juice, then our olive oil, all made into a nice paste. So here's what I like about this gremolata meats chimichurri style sauce. Well, first off, it's an incredible workout for the forearms and the triceps, I feel, with the mortar and pestle. But beyond that, what can you use this for? Better question is, what can't you use this for? It goes phenomenally on a ton of different things. In particular, any dish that is very rich, that you're trying to cut through with an acidic kind of flair, like, for instance, my Sweetened Black Vinegar Pork Shoulder Braising Dish, which the link is right here, and as soon as this is over, go check that out and put the two together. So what makes these kinds of things so fantastic throughout the entire world? In Italy and Latin America, you see them because time and time again, they're using simple, fresh ingredients and creating a flavor that is just bold and fantastic. Mm -hmm. 